Greetings YouTube, Mr. Sif here from Camp Kill Commentary, and today I have decided to play Don't Starve. Now, I will be playing with the DLC Reign of Giants expansion, which makes the game even more brutal, and it's a wilderness survival game with roguelike elements. If you die, all of your progress, your entire world, your map, everything you've done is erased. The game was made by an independent studio known as Clay Entertainment, and I think they did a really good job. Here's a list of some of my guys I've played. These are my top games right here. As you can see at the top of the list, the longest I've ever lived was 31 days. And that was brutal. I was killed by what was called a, a deer clops. It's a bad creature, it's very big, and it messes up your entire life and base really quick. So, we're gonna start a new game. Now we're gonna do a little Don't Starve. You ready? Let's see how long I could last. That's, that's my whole goal with this series. Can I last 32 days? As you can see, the game is highly stylized. It's Tim Burton-esque in a cutout puppet paper kind of thingy do. Very cool looking. That is Maxwell. He's the bad guy. He's a jerk. Sorry, pal. You don't look so good. You better find something to eat before the night comes. What a dick. Fuck you. Alright, every world is procedurally generated, meaning no two worlds are the same, and they are huge. They are very expansive. And the main thing you gotta do in this game, to survive, is, is don't starve. Which is what makes the title so special. As you can see, you start off in a random world. Um, here's my map. I haven't really looked at much. And what I'm doing is I'm going to collect everything I need to survive. Now, the game is set set to run on a season uh, system. So right now, it's not winter. That's all you need to know. Winter's coming. On day 21, it'll be winter. And then everything will freeze and the snow will come and the animals will stop. And, and I'll probably die in the snow. Like I said, I, su I survived the day 31 once. Once! And it was great. Unfortunately, my life was cut short by a giant, which is... Uh, punch! Punch! Oh, I tried to punch... I tried to punch the butterfly. Giants! Giants were added with this uh, DLC expansion, Reign of Giants. Throughout the map, you will find things hidden... One of the things you find randomly all over the place are these dead people. Look at them. Look. Better him than me. What a fucking dickhead thing to say. And all these guys usually have something like this torch. This torch might come in handy someday. So I'm going to unequip it because it'll run out. Everything runs out. It has durability. And that torch is at 48% durability. Now, the things you're going to need are, are twigs. Like this twig right here. Sticks. Grass. Yeah, grass is good. See this right here? This is flint. You need flint to make... An axe! And with the axe, yeah. Yeah, look what it does. It cuts down trees. I bet you couldn't have guessed that on yourself. That's why you needed a commentator to tell you that. But, um... As you can see, there's, there's a lot of Minecraft-esque... Uh, activities here. Foraging. Uh, supply gathering. Preparing for bad weather. But, don't let that fool you. This is not Minecraft. Minecraft is a pleasant friend compared to this. This game is so brutal. Actually, I've tried to record this twice already, and both times I died before the third day. So, yeah. I erased it. So we're trying again. We're trying again. And, um, yeah, I was swearing a lot. I was really angry. <laughs> I was angry by the end of both those games. Because it was unfair how I died. Now, what you need before your first night is grass, sticks, rocks, wood. Grass, sticks, rocks, wood. Yeah, all those things are needed. If you can get those things before your first night, you're going to be okay. But there's certain things you're looking for on top of that. You're looking for gold. 
You gotta find gold. You could spend forever looking for gold, or you could be born right next to it. Procedurally generated worlds. You could be born right next to what you need, or it could be a million miles away. Like, I need more flint. Where the hell is more flint? See this biome that I'm in right here? This is a savanna. 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 I said it right. Shut up. And this is one of the most important biomes. Not only does it have these rabbits that I can't kill because I don't have any traps, it produces uh, randomly a creature called the beefalo. Now, not every uh, savanna has beefalo, but we're looking for the one that does because eventually we're going to make a base. And when we make that base... Oh shit, hold on, those guys are bad. When we make that base, we want it to be near beefalo. So if you're starting this game, I'm telling you right now, Gather the resources I told you to gather. Sticks, grass, rocks, wood, flint, gold if you can find it. Oh, shit, this guy's coming after me. Fuck off! You! You there! Fuck off! That guy's bad. Those guys are bad and they're rare. You don't really find the chess piece people often, but when you do... Oh, there's flint! There! There's flint. When, when you do meet something rare, you know it. Because you're like, what the hell is that? I've played this game for hours and I've never seen that. Okay, look what we have here. Some important things. One, I just made myself a pickaxe. Mm. See this rock? See the difference between these two rocks? This little, little stupid rock here is stupid. This is a stupid rock. Yeah, and what it drops is flint, rocks, and this niter, nit, niter, niter, whatever. It makes bombs. And I've never made a bomb. I don't know how, but this rock... <clears throat> the rock with the, the crease in the middle is gold. It's always gold. What's this? This is a set piece. Look at that. There's a gnome there. There's these evil flowers. Oh, man. Don't go near the evil flowers. They drain your sanity over time. This is a rock biome. Rock biomes have these rocks with the crease in the middle, which has gold, baby, gold. I'm lucky. This is all right here. All right here. I've spent games where I couldn't even find this. Another place to get gold is right above me right now, which is one of the greatest places in the whole map. Look at this. Yes, gold on the ground in the graveyard. If you find a graveyard, there's usually gold on the ground. You can also dig up the graves and there's little treasures in them and you can sell those treasures to the fat pig king. Yes, that is a thing. That is real. Or... Oh shit, hold on. Fire, 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 fire. Make fire. It's gonna get dark. <clears throat> Here we go. Now this is a temporary fire. This is a temporary fire. You can make a permanent one when you find where you want to put your base because this game is all about that base. About that base. About that base. You gotta make a base to survive. Eventually you'll have one. But for tonight, I'm still mobile. I'm gonna cook some food. Cook some of these nuts that came down from the tree because there ain't nothing I like better than shoving some nuts in my mouth when I'm dying. Mm, mm, mm. And that replenishes my health. I'll cook some carrots. And cook carrots. Yeah, I wish I had some peas for these carrots. They're delicious. There we go. Mm, mm, mm. And if you look, that helped my health. Now, Let's show you real quick. If you look at the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see there's a big circle that says day one. That is your calendar. That'll tell you what time of day it is. The little dark spot is uh, nighttime. The long shiny gold part is uh, daytime. And the dim little red part is autumn. Or not autumn. What am I thinking? I'm sorry, I'm stupid. It's dusk. It's dusk. Right, okay. And then you'll see the three circles um, underneath it, one says 149. That is my hunger. When that reaches zero, I'll start taking damage. Its max is 150. The one right next to it that says 150, that's my health. That max is at 150. I'm not even hurt here, folks. I am doing great. And the circle underneath it that says 186, that max is at 200. So I've already lost some. But that's your sanity. When that reaches zero, you start... It's bad. It's bad. Way before it reaches zero, you start hallucinating and seeing demons and shadow monsters, and they come alive. And if it goes low enough, they can actually kill you. They become real. But we don't want any of that. We're just going to cook some foods. Because we're food cooking here. 
Yeah, it's a cooking simulator as well. Look at that. Oh, cook some berries, baby. Mm. Those are gonna taste scrumptious. Oh, I got seven petals. I need more. I need more. So what we're doing is we're gonna try to survive. We already got the first night down. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. The fire's going out. There we go. Put a little fuel on there. A little fuel on there. Okay, it's daytime. Grab some sticks. Uh, might as well get some more wood right now. There we go. Give me that Christmas tree. Yeah. Grab some of this. Now, oh, if I remember, there was a... Uh, uh, down there. Now look at the map. Look how big the fucking map is. You'll be very lucky to even see 10% of that map before you die. I've watched a bunch of tutorials, and I've played this game for about a week now, so I'm not a super noob, uh, but I've seen people last 1,000 days, 2,000 days. Um, it's unclear to me if they modded their game or played without the Giants uh, DLC, but I don't know, man. Anybody who's lasted over Fuck. 31 days is a beast in my in my views. See these guys? These guys are bad. You don't want to fight them right now. But they are born on these little, little tile di biomes. Biomes, yeah. A chess piece. See these flowers I'm picking up? Very important are flowers. A lot of people pass by them. I, I watch tutorials of people like, fuck the flowers. The flowers are important. Super important. They give you five uh, sanity back. So pick those things up. And as soon as you have 12, you get to make one of your first items in this game that you really, really should make quick. So I try to get 12. Oh, I'll kill you, butterfly. These are bushes, berry bushes. Very important. Carrots, super important. Oh, I don't have room to pick it up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What can I get rid of? I gotta get rid of some. Oh, we'll eat this. Mmm, carrot. Pick up a carrot. The circle of life. Eat a carrot, pick up a carrot. Remember. Remember to follow uh, Mr. Sif's advice and you will survive. 31 days. Alright, now I got 12 flowers. First thing I want to make is... Boom! A macho flower headdress. Yeah. That'll definitely help me in the future. Petals could also be used for uh, each petal you eat will bring one point of life back. So, so don't don't go throwing them away because uh, they're good. I thought there was a biome here uh, for the beefalo. Yeah, your first quest is to find those beefalo. I have not seen a single tutorial where people have said that beefalo aren't important. Now there's workarounds. You can find a village of pig people. They could serve the same purpose. It's a little different to to get what you need. Let, let's just cut to the point. Let, let's just cut to the reason why you want these beefalo. Because you're going to be living in a base. Oh, turkey! Oh, you're so fast you can never catch him. You got to trap him in a corner. I don't know. There's something you got to do to get him. I don't fucking know. I'm not a turkeyologist here, people. It's actually not a turkey. I think he's called a gobbler. I don't know. Anyways, back to the point. The reason you need beefalo is for what they create. They make one of the most sought-after items in the whole game that you cannot play this game without getting. And that is uh, poop. Yeah, doo-doo. Yeah, doo-doo, caca, poopy. Uh, manure. Without manure... Uh, uh, without manure, you're fucked. You need manure for fuel. Uh, probably won't use it for fuel. You use wood for fuel. But you could use it for fuel... But you definitely need it to farm. Because eventually you're going to have a base. And that base is going to have farms. You're going to farm sticks and bushes and food. And the manure makes a lot of that possible. My axe just broke. So I'm like a new axe. Oh. Cutting down trees. This is a beehive. Don't hit it. Because all the bees will come out and they'll want to kill you. And there's no need to do that right now. Beehive can be very useful in the future, though. 
I see these berry bushes that I've already picked. I'm about to do something that I never see anyone do. Everyone says, make your science machine. Which costs one gold, by the way. That's why you need that gold. Make your science machine after you have a base. Bullshit. Fuck you. Don't tell me what to do. I need a shovel. I gotta drop something. What am I gonna drop? I'm gonna drop nothing. I'm gonna eat two seeds. Then I'm gonna pick up that shovel. Having that shovel while I'm looking for my base is very cool. Because I'm going to pick up every... Uh, every single bush of food along the way. Why, you say? Because I'm gonna plant them at my base. Saves me the time of coming back here in the future. I'd rather dig up every one of these now, along the way, while looking for my base. Instead of find my base, make the shovel and the science machine at the base, come home, blah, 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 come all the way back, find the food. No. Too much work. Too much work, give me that flower. Ugh. Give me the berries, give me the bush. Give me the berries, give me the bush. All right. Oh man, I don't have room for the berries! Okay, uh, we're getting rid of the pine cone. Bye, pine cone. Pine cones are used for fuel and fire and planting trees. Do we need that? No. No, we don't. Alright, uh... Oh, I see a bush back there. Oh, think I didn't see it? Professional. Super professional at this game. I know where all the bushes are. Call me the bush hunter. Fuck. It's gonna be dark soon, and we still have not found beefalo. We're looking for a savanna. Ugh. Get this bush right here. I already have eight bushes. That will help me dearly. Get all these flowers. Now there's so much to this game, man. There is so many monsters, so many items, so many things just hidden randomly on the map. Like, you can find all sorts of traps. Oh, of course there's weather. Oh, thank God it's raining. Might as well make fire now. Fire. Bush. Yeah. Give me these sticks. I should be... I should totally be digging up these, um, sticks, too. You can dig them up and bring them with you. But I don't have any room in my inventory. Alright, let's do some cooking. What am I cooking? Mm, where's all my... Yeah, there we are. I'm gonna cook all these berries. Yes! I'm going to eat a few. Can't stop me. I'm not going to cook the nuts or the carrots because all of these foods are perishable. And as soon as you cook them, they, they perish even quicker. Everything turns to rot, actually. That's what happens. Things rot. They leave rot on the ground. Rot! I love that word. And we're going to try not to do that. Oh, shit. It's raining, so the fucking fire is going out faster. Something you should know right now. See that darkness? You go out in that darkness? This ain't Minecraft, my friend. You're not gonna dodge a couple fucking creepers and skeletons and zombies and then get back to your base and laugh it off. No. You go in that dark, you die. The darkness kills you, 100%, so you gotta stay out of it. Never, ever, ever go in the dark. Whew! And this is gonna be the end of day two. I'm a beast. Two down! We can do this. Well, while we're here, might as well... Might as well cut down this tree. Now, everything's dangerous in this game. Cutting down a tree seems pretty simple, right? What's the danger in cutting down a tree? Well, I'll tell you. You cut down too many of these trees, and you don't plant the pine cones or whatever falls from it. You don't replant trees. And giant tree monsters come after you, like Lord of the Ring tree ant motherfuckers. Yeah. True deal. And they'll hunt you down, and they're hard to kill. So, but like everything, there's there's a way to kill everything. Alright, it's already day three. I like to have a base by day five, definitely. So, uh, where am I gonna go? We're gonna follow this coastline. Following a coastline is always a smart thing to do. 
This is a birch nut tree. These are my favorite because if you kill a mature one, you'll get some free nuts. Yeah, lots of nuts. I'd like to find this uh, beefalo biome. I don't need that mushroom. Different mushrooms grow, different times of the day. I'll explain that sometime when it matters. It doesn't matter now, right now. Oh, this is a beefalo biome. Is there a beefalo in it? Hello? Rabbit holes. Put traps on those rabbit holes. Survive. No, this is too small for beefalo. What could he do da? We're just gonna follow this road. Roads make you move faster. Remember that. Oh, I do want that carrot. Food. Food's important. Don't derail yourself. Focus. Do what you're doing. Don't keep switching it up. Don't multitask. That'll get you killed. Focus on what you're doing. <sighs> Look at this. That is an eye bone. Uh, fuck the pine cone. Here, I'm gonna plant a tree. Hopefully that'll appease the tree gods. See that eye bone I just picked up? Look what it does. It brings this guy. Yeah. What does this guy do? Well, I'll show you what he does. I'll show you. I'm gonna store my gold in him. He is a portable chest. He can only be found once on the map. He's hidden out here somewhere, and the map is fucking huge. And when you find him, he follows you. He's a free chest. Yay, more slots to keep more stuff in. Ooh, pig village. Pig village. What you got? You got a pig head? Oh, that's a merm head? I've only seen pig heads on sticks. I've never seen a merm head on a stick. Okay, merm are fish people. You kill them, they give you fish meat and frog legs. But this... This is a pig village. Oh, and it's a nice pig village, too, because it has all this food. Oh, I kind of want to live here, but I can't. I can't. There's not enough stuff. But I will pick up all these flowers. Give them to me. Whoa. Bee. There is a fucking bee. You piss off too many of those bees, and your life will not be happy two types of bees. There's honey bees and then there's killer bees and both of them will kill you, honey. <laughs> yeah, killer bees will kill you. You go too close to them, they'll attack you. The other bees, they can be domesticated. What's this? Oh, spiders. See these guys? Those are spiders. Watch, you go over here. They're not all oh, fuck. I don't want none of them right now, but they are marked on my map now. Alright, we got a pig village right there. We got spiders right there. Oh my god, if we could just find beefalo right here, everything we need is here. You want to be next to pigs. You want to be next to bees. Look at those bees. I want to be here. I want to be next to those spiders. Because you could farm them. You could turn all these things into farms. Oh shit, another spider. There's a lot of spiders over here. Good to know. Those spider nests will get bigger and bigger. Oh my god, another one. That's four spider nests in this area. That's scary. Spider nests get bigger and bigger throughout the seasons. That's a tier one spider nest. Spider nests can turn into tier two and then tier three. And I think after tier three it turns into a giant spider queen, giant monster, which you don't want to go near. But yeah, there's another spider. Oh man, this is spider city. I don't want any of it. Take some sticks. A fifth spider egg. This forest is spider infested. Oh my god, another spider. Usually when you find spiders, there's one nest. If you're lucky, there might be two. But to see six or seven, possibly more, that's scary. It's, uh, like I said, procedurally generated, so constantly see stuff that you're not used to seeing. Come here, you. I gotta put something in you. What do I want to put in you? <laughs> you know what I want to put in you. Uh, no. Here, take all my petals. Thank you. It's becoming dusk. And that's when these spiders get active. Fuck, this is not where I want to be. Hey, spider. 
Papa. Oh. Alright, I pissed them off. Spiders are not dangerous. They are completely harmless creatures. I'm kidding, they are bad. Oh. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Come on. You can kill him with four strikes. Oh, this is gonna hurt me. Ow! Yeah. Oh, shit, another one. Oh, my God. My weapon's gone. I am dying. I gotta get out of here. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad news. Bad news, bears. Whoo! Okay, folks. That's not how you um, do your third night. That is not night three. I gotta get out of here if I'm gonna make a place to sleep. Oh, it's a fuck another spider. Oh my god, another spider. It's gonna be dark soon. Mushroom. Oh, I can't get that green mushroom, and I want it. More spiders. More spiders. Help me. Oh my god, they're everywhere. This is like sp the spider kingdom. Someday I'm going to come here and destroy them all. I'm going to go live on this little peninsula. Ugh. Ugh. Where's that torch I have? Don't fuck around with me. Ugh. One of the things I like about this game is senseless destruction to nature. Now, if you know about my channel, if you know about me, you know I just spent six months on the road killing trees. And I wish it was this easy in real life. Oh, God. I'm gonna burn. Oh, fuck. 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 That was not smart. Get out of there, chesty. A little chest, buddy. All right. There we go. Hopefully that killed some spiders. Oh, uh, this food, as you see, it's got that orange background. That means it's starting to rot. I think it's going to turn. Yeah. Just eat them all. I'm going to cook all these uh, carrots. Now, every time you eat one of these foods, you get like one health back, one hunger, two hunger, maybe three. It's not the best way to be healing yourself, but it's all I got. I'm gonna eat all these carrots like a big pig and shove them in my mouth. Cook some nuts. Get some hot nuts in here. Fuck. I can't believe I almost just died because of spiders. Here, I'm gonna eat all these nuts. I'm gonna cook all these berries. So yeah, the game is huge. It's dangerous. It could take a turn for the worst in a, in a blink of an eye. You could be doing great with your little base, your farms, your gear, your portable chest, buddy. But before you know it, you walk into the wrong bunch of spiders, and life, life is shit. This is all charcoal. If I broke that, I'd get charcoal. I actually want charcoal, so not going to be useful now, but in the future. Oh, man. Get him, pig! Fight that spider! Look at that. Kill him! Yeah, good job. I don't want that silk. Now, these spiders, they, um, drop monster meat, silk, or glands. Mmm yummy pink wet glands that heal you. The glands heal you. The silk you could use to make traps and clothes and crazy stuff. But the monster meat is poisonous meat. And in a pinch if you're dying, you eat that shit. But for the most part, you don't want to eat it straight. You definitely don't want to eat it raw. But the pigs will pick it up. They will eat it. And if they eat four monster meat, they turn into a fucking werepig. Yeah. Wouldn't you know. Wouldn't you know that's just how it always is. Werepigs. I think they also turn to werepigs uh, on the full moon no matter what. I'm not sure. There's so many things in this game. I don't fucking know. Quote me on nothing. 
quote me on nothing. And you know what? If you think I'm sucking at this game, shut up. Shut your mouth. Yeah. Or give me some advice in the comments section if I'm still alive by then. I want that cap. That's that mushroom I didn't get picked up before. You want to help me survive? You want to tell me stuff? You tell me stuff. I'm getting the fuck out of this spider hole. Wow. There is a lot of spiders in there. Okay, we're getting out of here. We hereby declare this spider wood. Spider wood is, is a bad place. It's very close to this pig uh, village. Very small pig village. Oh, I want to kill you, turkey. I want your drumsticks. I want to eat your little giblets right off your face. All right, we're going to follow the coastline. It's day four. Still haven't found a base. Very scary. Not pleased. Like I said, you could be looking for these beefalo forever. Forever. But you better find where the fuck they are before it's day 21. Because day 21 is winter. If you're not set, you are in trouble. I'm going to follow this road all the way down. All the way down. Hey, rabbits. I'd be killing you right now if, if there were beefalo near you. Where the beefalo live are where the rabbits live. Oh, rabbits live everywhere. Well, no, not everywhere. Just shut up and go find your own rabbits. I'm not telling you where my rabbits are. You'll eat them. And I'll starve. This game is don't starve. Look how macho I look. Just dancing down the brick road with a flower headdress. Mmm. It's my dream. Living the dream. Okay, we are, we are in a savanna. Nice. Nice. Please be a big one. Tons of ro rabbits here. Beefalo! Woo! Day four, we have found beefalo. There are rabbits here. Now, I want to find the place that has the most rabbit holes, because I want to make my base near the rabbit holes. I'm not going to put them completely on the savanna, because... The beefalo, they go into mating season once a year, twice a year. I don't fucking know. I'm not a beefaloologist. But when they do go into mating season, you can't go near them unless you're wearing a beefalo hat because they will fuck you to death. Yeah. So you don't want that. It sounds fun, right? Getting fucked to death by a beefalo herd. But no, it's not as fun as it looks on paper. In real life, it ends your game real quick. You're hitting that retry button while they're just dry humping your dead body and you're pissed. That's what happens. Yeah. So. I want to find... What I'm doing right now is following the outskirts of, of this biome. Just so I can get on my map how big it is. I want to map it out. Tomorrow I will put down my permanent base somewhere near here. I have beefalo now. That's a nice size herd. Look at those guys. It's quite a few beefalo. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy now. That's all it takes to make me happy. What's down here? Anything good? Anything good? No. Whoa. See that item? Special item. That ring, that gold ring. Oh shit, I gotta get rid of something. Won't you get rid of the pine cone like always? That poor pine cone thinks nobody loves it. These are boards on the ground next to a dead body with a free axe. I'm going to put these boards in my little Chester friend. Free axe on the ground. Uh, there's roads everywhere. I like that. Sometimes that leads to things. In fact, does that road lead all the way up to the pig village? It sure does. What a ni nice little... We'll travel to them. Oh, it's gonna get dark. It's gonna get dark. It's gonna get dark. It's gonna get dark. Two rabbit holes there. One there. I want to sleep with the beefalo. Ah. Uh. All right. Oh. My inventory's full. Need a seed. And this is the manure. 
This is the poop. The poop in this game is the shit. You need it. Without it, you're fucked. Fuckity fuck fuck. Oh, thanks for making a poopy for me. Make another one. And those guys will make the poop for you. Put that in my chest. And we're gonna spend a nice little night here. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat some food. All my meters are down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gonna eat these five petals. Every one petal brings up my health one. My insanity's still banging. I'm looking good. I'm sane. Hey, you sleeping, Beefy? What you doing, Beefy? Sleeping? Now, in a pinch, I can kill this guy for meat. But it will be an epic battle that I cannot do right now because I don't have armor. I don't have the right weapons. And all his buddies will come and try to kill me too. I don't need that. I don't want that in my life. But day four. We're going to be making a base. On day five. Like I said. You want to find a base before day five. If you don't, don't don't freak out. Don't, don't think that's the end of your game or anything. But, you know, definitely think you're fucking up. You know? You're definitely not as good as me if you can't get a base out before day five. And I'm... I'm not the best at this game, but I definitely deserve uh, an award. Some applause. Come on! Come on! Where's the daytime? Glad I bought... I, I got these bushes early. Because seriously... this. Take this. Take these boards, too. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad I brought the, got these bushes early, made that science machine early, made that shovel early, because I didn't see any food on the way down here. Not bushes, anyways. Okay. Huh. This is the whole beefalo biome. Where are some rabbits? I need some rabbits. Right, I got two rabbit holes right there. Two. Fucking two. What the hell is that? There's one. There's two. What I really want are those rabbit. I want like five or six rabbit holes next to each other. That would be awesome. Alright, we're gonna make something right now. Boom. Make a trap. Boosh! It's a trap. Yeah. Oh, look, there's four right here. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm just gonna make some traps. We'll make some traps. Trap us some stuff. I only got enough for two traps. What am I missing? Sticks. I need sticks. Is this sticks? That is sticks. Oh, I need more. Oh no, I need grass too. Oh my god. That's bad news that I don't have this stuff. Poop. Get some grass. Catching those rabbits are going to be a steady food supply. You know what I'm saying? Good time. Good time for me. And your main goal in this game, obviously, again, is not to starve. So, rabbits are key to that, I believe. At least until I get a farm going. There we go. Now I'm hunting some rabbits. I thought there was four holes. Where's where's the fourth hole? Oh, I see it. I see the hole. Sometimes I have a hard time locating the hole. Ask around. It's true. But once I find it, uh, you're trapped. And then you go right in my mouth as a tasty, tender morsel. All right, um, let's go get some supplies real quick. I 
got wood. <laughs> I got wood. Shut up. That is not funny. Making jokes about erections while I'm starving to death in the wilderness. That's why you'll never survive past day five, like me. Now, I really hope that you're not hating watching me play this. But if you are, just turn it the fuck off. And go buy the game yourself, because this is really a good game. I'm, I'm not lying. I really enjoy this game. A lot. And I will keep uploading this game until I die. After I die, I'll be done. Then you'll be free to say, don't do that again, Mr. Sif. Hey, take these pine cones. Give me this baby. Yummy baby. Uh, put on my shovel. Always get the food bushes. Actually, now I want to start getting these sticks, too. Even though they're all taken already, they are a renewable resource. And renewable resources are important. They are important, and I like them. Oh. Give me this. Yeah. Yeah. Why why can't I get this? Why can't I get this? Hold on, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh, I already have ten bushes. Hi. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, I got this. That's almost rotted. Um bush. Fuck. What do I want? Alright, you. Go in there. Give me that bush. And do uh, do uh, you. Go in the chest. Thank you. Grab this stick. Grab this stick. No, grab this stick. Yeah. All the sticks are mine. Whew. And it's becoming dusk. Which is awesome. Well, it's not really awesome. That's when the spiders come out, but... We're far away from spider wood, which someday I do hope to go to war against. Look at that. I caught some rabbits and shit. Urgh. We have captured a rabbit. That's one. Oh, here's another one. See how the trap's moving? Two rabbits, baby. Oh, fuck it. Murder the rabbit. Monster meat. Monster meat got to get stored in there. Give me this. Murder the rabbit! Oh, I love the little sound it makes. It's so nice. Alright. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to build a permanent fire. This is a fire that doesn't disappear after it dies. And we're going to build it right here. Boosh. A little close to the beefalo. I know. I know. I know. But what are you going to do? And we're going to build a science machine. Yay! And we're going to build, um, uh, what else do I want to build? Oh, science. I want a lightning rod. Oh, I need to refine some of my stones. What? I don't have stone? I thought I had stone. You, come here. I don't have any stone. Okay, hold on. Resource management is a very big, important thing about survival. If you think you have stone and you don't have stone, you're dead. Give me that stone. And that flint. Motherfucker. Oh. There we go. Where is... Come on, where is it? Lightning rod. Make some flat stone. And then a lightning rod. I'm gonna put this here. Boosh! And we're gonna take this stuff. And we're gonna plant it. One, two, three, four, 
and oh, uh, we're gonna put some wood in here. Look at that. Eleven. Um, that lightning rod will keep, obviously, lightning from striking my crops. So we don't want that. Plant these sticks. Oh. oh, look at that. I'm gonna eat a cooked rabbit morsel. Mm. Yummy, delicious, real food. Well, I'm here, I'm gonna cut this tree down. It's in my way. That's it, folks. We have survived. Day five. We have a base. And as the sun comes up, you can see the beginnings of my beautiful, my beautiful establishment. Yeah! And I am the proprietor of this beautiful establishment, and I will survive here. And until I die, I will keep, up, keep uploading. Yeah. Yeah! That's right. Notice how I stuttered when I said, until I die, I will... Because I know I'm not going to last long. But I made it to day six. And we're going to end right here. And just say, hey, get this game. It's 15 bucks uh, on PC and Xbox. It's uh, 18.99 on PS4. It's by Clay Entertainment, and I really love this fucking game. And you would too, especially if you're, uh, if you're a Minecrafter. Check it out. And, uh, that's it. Mr. Sif here signing off. I hope you didn't mind watching this. I hope you buy this game. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace!